The Liberal mainstream media continue to have an emotional breakdown over the return of Boris Johnson as Prime Minister. And the best reaction is from Emily Maitlis. <laughs> One of the best um, moments of this whole second Tory leadership election of 2022 is the reaction we are seeing from the political left. Emily Maitlis is not too happy about uh, the return of uh, Boris Johnson. Uh, Emily Maitlis is the same presenter who was uh, who used to be Newsnight's presenter, and uh, she had a very biased monologue, and uh, she, she was sanctioned, and she had to issue an apology. Um, this is her on her new show and podcast when the moment she found out that Boris Johnson is coming back. Yeah. Uh, Maitlis, yeah. can I interrupt you? Stephen Swinford is reporting that Boris Johnson is standing. Okay, shit. <laughs> Let's listen to it again. Yes, can I interrupt you? Stephen Swinford is reporting that Boris Johnson is standing. Okay, shit. <laughs> now, it doesn't matter if you are, um, well, right wing, but not pro Boris Johnson or pro Boris Johnson. It's just too funny. This whole situation is just too hilarious. Now, let's go and have a look at this. Emily Maitlis' tweets. She also tweeted, guys. Emily says, the Boris is a winner narrative seems to overlook two things, guys. Come on, guys, listen to Emily. The candidate he stood against in 2019 in the Labour Party literally delivered the worst result his own party had since 1936. In other words, he could not have faced an easier opponent. Labour 2022 looks very different to Labour 2019. Second point, he'd already started to lose elections when he was still in power, north and south, to Lib Dems and Labour, local and by-election. <laughs> that Boris was the same Boris as the one who won in 2019 and who got chucked out by his own party. Come on, guys, listen to Emily. Uh, she's an idiot. Point number one. People said the same about 2017 Jeremy Corbyn. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be easy. Because they underestimated him, the, the, the Theresa May's party almost lost to Jeremy Corbyn. The only reason that the Tories managed to get that result was because of the campaign they ran. And if it were any other leader, if it were any other campaign, the Tories, from the Tory side, they could have lost to Jeremy Corbyn. Now that he's gone, we're like, oh yeah, Jeremy Corbyn was actually quite weak. No, he wasn't. <laughs> he was just, he was about to destroy the country, guys. So that's one. Secondly, the second point about losing. Um, Emily, parties and governments lose election, by elections and local elections. That's absolutely normal. <laughs> if you want to use uh, the defeats in local elections and the by elections as a sign of, you know, you're the worst leader of a political party in government, then maybe you'll have a look at Tony Blair. Tony Blair, the peak of Blair, who still lost um, local elections in certain key seats. He still managed to win general elections. So, idiocy. Now, Stephen Fry, his reaction was even better. No, Boris Johnson. No, 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 no. <laughs> Under absolutely no circumstances. Ever, 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 ever. Do you hear? Whoa, <clears throat> I think we're going to have a, a massive increase of revenue when it comes to pharmaceutical and a certain medicine uh, this weekend and the rest of the week, actually, next week. Uh, some people need to calm down a little bit. And <laughs> if there's no guarantee Boris is going to win anyway, um, although it could easily happen. And these people are already having an emotional breakdown. Beautiful. Absolutely. It's poetry. This is British poetry. And I mean, despite all this, these idiots in the Western bubble, they're all attacking each other. All three candidates are terrible anyway. People are still suffering. I don't care who's going to win right now. Just make sure you get things done and then you're going to lose the election. The funny thing is, it could actually work out well for the Tories and for the economy. We don't know. Now, we're going to leave you guys. I'm going to come back in half an hour. We're going to tell you about uh, the left wing of the Tory party led by people like Tobias Elwood and Rishi Sunak and Jeremy Hunt who are now finally, openly and publicly announcing uh, their real vision and ideology, which is against conservatism, free market capitalism, and in favour of globalist 
great reset. Subscribe to the channel. I'm my TC and we are the media.